Hey, good Thursday to you. Just came back from the ophthalmologist. My eyes are a little dilated, but my brain is functioning. You know how that happens. So we're, last week we talked about um, method, actually, last week we talked about conditioning. Conditioning your resins and your TLC plates prior to using them. And that is really important, so do not forget to do that. Think about that add it to everyday use. But we're going to talk about actually method development today. And we're going to look at some tools that you can use to create methods, uh, especially for applications that you have uh, problems with or that you want to optimize a method. So we offer unique TLC plates to do this. We actually offer a method development kit that gives you a a uh, silica gel plate, a C8 plate, a cyano plate, a dial plate, um, and an amino plate. And they're all on HPTLC. So what does that mean? HPTLC gives you uh, smaller particle size on the plate for better resolution. So you need less compound, it runs faster. And these are really great for you when you have issues using uh, silica gel. If you're not getting resolution, if you have amine based compounds, other type of functional groups that you're not seeing the separation on TLC, you need to open up your eyes to be a little bit more technicolor and you need to look at amino or phenyl, diol, cyano. And so we offer these plates for you guys and gals to be able to, when you're on the bench, immediately go. Uh, the challenge, I think, that a lot of chemists have is because they do not have these plates available, that they're stuck. Um, and at the same time, if you go to our applications database and you find a method and it's not on a plate that you're familiar with, here's a way that you could probably have that plate right at your fingertips. Another way to do method development that is, again, these are also very low cost ways to play is using SPE cartridges. And SPE, we are, are packed with every phase imaginable, whether it's C2, C4, C8, C18, amino, phenyl, diol, SCX, SAX. They're all available in uh, an easy to use cartridge style that enables you to load a small amount of sample, to be able to find out which resin is going to be the best for you to, to rock and roll with. Um, we actually have method development kits with SPE for all the reverse phases, but actually everything from polar to nonpolar. And um, there, it's a low cost alternative for you guys to begin uh, having this on the bench for when you're trying to develop your methods. Um, we also have them available in polymeric, and so which gives you a different spin. Polymeric resins, and we haven't really talked about that, ion exchange resins are another way for you to uh, create good separation uh, that you may not have luck with on silica. The advantage with ion exchange resins are that they offer high pH stability and what's also great about ion exchange resins is if you're creating a scale-up procedure ion exchange resins are great because they are easy to clean and they're reusable with typical silica based uh, resins especially silica is typically a one or two load and you're done C18 you can condition it but even after a while uh, you get irreversible binding. But with polymeric resins, you can clean them, reuse them, and for scale up, and again, if you're do, looking at method development, that the process is going larger, it's a great way to play. Um, we're also looking to provide, and we haven't done it exactly because we're trying to put together, which is the best mix, of having our own spice rack of bulk resins. So they'll be in 25 or 50 uh, gram bottles and every type of functionality and also pore size. And we're trying to put this together to fit both small and small and large molecules. Um, 
So that's what I want to talk to you about today. It's really important that when you're having challenges on the bench that you know that there's solutions available for you. And a lot of times you're frustrated and you don't know where to turn. A quick, fast way to go is go to our applications database. It'll give you uh, method. It'll, give, it'll show you whether it's a TLC or SPE or HPLC or GC method, but it'll, it'll give you the starting point for you to rock and roll with. From there, you would then look at all the options available. Well, look, we're going to sign out. We're going to get a little bit more definitive next week. Drill down on this to make it easier and better for you. If you have any questions, give us a call. We're here. Thanks.